family. Hey, hold on, let me get comfortable right quick. How are you guys doing? What's up? Hi. Shit, okay, so we're going to start off with today is the 25th of April. Today is Tuesday. It is 1029 in the a.m. And I have just gotten out of the tub. How about that? I just got out of the shower and I got up early this morning, early, and I had been out working outside in, in uh, my gardens, and oh my God, it was just a calling. Something was like, okay, um, if you don't get up right now and go on outside and just, I don't know, it was a matter of me just getting grounded, like I needed it, I don't know, but man, I was out there early. And um, the good news is harvest is in, so... Um, I'm like, okay, but I kind of knew I was at, you know, at their growth end, um, because at the end of their stages of their growth, it's like whatever you do to them, it's like they're not responding to nothing anymore. It's like I've gone to the end of my rope. I've, ac I've accepted all your nutrients. I've accepted everything that you've done to me, but I'm just ready to die right now. I'm like tired. And so that's where they're at right now. And so I really want to push um, at least until the first, but I'm not sure. Um, so today what I'm going to do, like for the past couple of days, I've just been giving them flushes. And because I was like, okay, maybe I've been adding too much additives to them and too much to the soil. Um, because the pH balance, see, one thing about your medicinals is the fact that they, they love it to be more acidic than it needs to be alkaline. Okay. And so, it's different things that you have to do to bring those things up, okay? It's a lot of chemistry involved in this thing. <laughs> you understand me? It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of chemistry involved with this thing. And so, but I found that, you know, and I've been looking up a lot of holistic things. And, um, you know, I've been talking to a lot of people that are also about this life and, um, I bought so much literature about it because I'm a nonfiction reader. I love to read. Like my like my bookshelf over there is about all kinds of. I mean, just all, just a range of stuff from health and beauty to um, but a lot of holistic stuff. And um, I have a lot of mythology and I have a lot of um, what else gardening stuff. Uh, a lot of Zen and Feng Shui and a lot of things of that. A lot of astrology and metaphysical stuff. And, man, I got all kinds of shit over there. And then I have all my Disney cartoons. I love me some cartoons, like, different ones. Like, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I, that's my shit. You know, because I got, like, Fern Gully. That's one of my coldest cartoons ever. Fern Gully? Yeah. I got Fern Gully. I got Annie. You know, the first one with, Aunt, with with old girl that was in there with the real red hair, that that the ginger one. That, I got that. I got the Wiz. I got the regular Wizard of Oz. Man, I got a lot of, I like that kind of stuff. And Beauty and the Beast was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite all-time Disney movies. That one and Cinderella. Um, and uh, um, Little Mermaid too. Um, and then I also have to also pick with that... Um, Princess and the Frog. Uh, anyway, I know y'all like, wait a minute, hold on, this bitch is high right now. Pretty much. <laughs> okay? Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, let me go on and say that part. So that just let you know that I'm all over the place. But, you know, the thing is, though, real shit, can I say something? Y'all, I feel good. I feel good. And uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you one reason why I feel so good. Can I tell you one reason why I feel good? I took an L. And it wasn't a loss. It was really a lesson for me. I straight took an L. And it was like, okay, at first I was like, okay, what am I going to do? You know, I was up against some things, you know, and I know I've been dealing with retrograde. And I know a lot of you guys are because a lot of this shit is all going on at once. It's like four different, you know, things is going on at once. It's, I mean, it's just a lot of stuff. So I know you guys have been... um hitting me up about retrograde and asking me questions about it, but I'm not very versed. I'm not real fluid, okay? So then, therefore, I don't want to speak on something that 
You know, it's just gonna motherfuckers that really doubt me, really don't care for me, no way, really tolerate me. That just give them something in the motherfucking feed. Oh, well, bitch, you speaking on what you don't know, and bitch, you saying it's right here. You don't even know what the fuck you talk about. Oh, bitch, you know what I'm saying? So, you know that come with it. You know what I mean? You gotta be prepared for it. <coughs> but <coughs> you can't give them nothing extra. You know, just to really be fucking with you with. So. Um, so I haven't really answered those questions about that. One of my girls hit me up about a recipe about some, um, waffles. And she was wanting to know about, um, how much milk. Something in my spirit is telling me a cup, but I'm going to have to research that really because I really know exactly what you're talking about. And I'm going to have to research that, but, you know... That's what my first mind is telling me, but I'm going to double check that. I don't know if you made it, making it right now, or what's going on, but I have gotten that message, and, you know, and it's been really he heavy, weighing on me, like, every day, like, because I never, um, um, all of my messages also go through a review now, to where I just can't allow just, uh, comments to just roll up on my feed, because motherfuckers get out of line with it. So, to keep all that bullshit, especially being that I have been going and coming like I've been, it was best for me to put them on held, and then therefore I can go in and, you know, that way. But when I tell you, when you having hundreds and hundreds and thousands of messages... Oh, my God. And for the last couple of days, you know, especially being that I've been going through all kind of different other things to get my mental just straight and just go through this retrograde and just, you know, wear this motherfucker out. You know what I'm saying? Don't let this shit twist me out too tough, you know. Take this shit and just roll with it. You know, I've been on that right there. So, you know, y'all, that retrograde is some cold shit. Really, really, really look into it. I'm, I'm on some real shit. Look that shit up on YouTube, and the motherfuckers is going to be talking about that shit. This real 100 shit, though. You know, real 100 shit. And a lot of people was asking me, well, Auntie Jam, you really know your astrological chart? Hell motherfucking yeah. Shit, I want to know what the fuck's going on with me at all motherfucking times. And let me tell you right now, the Virgo's in my chart three fucking times, okay? That will be Sun, that will be Venus, and that will be motherfucking Pluto. Yes, I got Virgo in my chart three fucking times, okay? My moon is Gemini and my rising is Leo, okay? So then, therefore, that lets you know what kind of person that I really am. A lot of people don't really know that kind of background about themselves like that, but, you know, you got to know what day of birth you had. I was born at 423 a.m. Holla. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to me, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. As you guys begin to strengthen your spirituality and begin to like who you are and accept who you are, nigga, you want to know all kind of shit about your motherfucking ass. I got an ancestral kit right now sitting on my motherfucking desk in my office that I have not sent off yet because I'm like, damn, I can't wait to do this. But it's been so many blockages and so many other things going on. I still ain't done that motherfucker yet because I just want to know, you know, I know... Um, what has been taught to me and what was told, but I, I, I just want to know the genetics behind it all. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know the genetics behind it all because I know I am a, I am something of another kind sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I've grown to accept that about me. You know what I mean? So, you know, when you guys get into the realm of really trying to dissect and understand the relationships that you have, understand the energy that you bring, and truly understand your life's purpose and your possibilities, can't nobody really fuck with you. You understand? And that's what I'm beginning to know. But see, the thing is, I have been speaking so much in, you know, in the under the authority of pain and under the authority of so many other different things where it's just like, man, now that I'm starting to get clear, and it's like I've been under some form of fog or something, but two in which I know what it is. I've grown to accept that now. And I know the motherfuckers that played the part in allowing me to get there. But it's like now that I've ended up on this end. And I'm like, oh my God. For real? Is this what the fuck? Are you serious right now? Yes. I'm sitting up looking at shit like, I can't even believe this shit right now. Like, for real? Nigga, this shit got me scratching my own motherfucking lace. You understand me? Because I'm like, wow. Like, what the fuck? You know? But... I had, to, I had to, you know, accept all of that shit. I had to accept all of it and take the L and say, you know what? White flag. I, I can't even fight no more. I ain't got nothing in me no more to fuck with. Nothing, nobody, nothing. Let me go to my own motherfucking house, tend to my own shit. You know, get my mind right on my shit. You know what I mean? 
And then start getting my shit together because it's like, wait a minute, nigga, I felt like I was under some type of motherfucking trance or something. Uh, something. I really felt like I was on a trance for the past few years. I'm serious. And it's like, now that I'm coming out of this motherfucker, I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Where the breakdown went at? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Yes, yes, girls, yes, yes. I felt like I've been in a motherfucking trance, and I'm starting to come out of this bitch. And it's like, I'm looking back behind me, and I'm seeing this long fucking tunnel, but I'm seeing the, the light at the end of that motherfucker, but it's like, Dark, okay. I know it's the end back there, but it's like a dark, woodsy type look, like feel, like energy is real dark. But as I'm going towards this way, all, all I'm seeing is like light, I'm seeing like so much foliage and greenery, I'm seeing butterflies and birds chirping, and man, I'm just seeing so much bliss, you know what I'm saying? So much hope, so much man. Solace, peace, man, and it's like I'm like right there. It's like right there, like it's so fucking right there. It's like I could touch it on my fingertips, on the tip of my nose, on on my nipples. Maybe that's why them motherfuckers be hard all the goddamn time. Them motherfuckers know what's to come, goddamn it. Them motherfuckers is like, wait a minute, bitch. I and you know when I looked at that other video, I was like, oh my god. But and and that's just them all the time. It ain't no extra twist I gotta do to them. It ain't no nothing, nothing, nothing. That's just what it is. Whatever. <laughs> that's just it's just like that, you know. But I like man. But uh, yeah. So it's like I'm seeing this light that is so fucking bright, and it's like just right there, and it's like it's like my nose is already getting like sunburned. My nipples are already getting, like, you know, chafed from the sun, like the, the rays. And the rays are so strong, it's just, ener it's just energizing and boosting up my chi. You know, it's like, man, it's a trip. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. And I know this has a lot to do with this motherfucking retrograde, but I also know, too, because one thing about going through, like, a Mercury retrograde, one thing I knew, do know about that is you got to get rid of old ways, old thought processes, old things, take ownership for the part that you played in them and shit and start learning from those lessons. That's why I tell you, I took an L. I took an L for the simple fact. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Guess what? Check this out. You are right. Everything that you're saying, you're right. I'm out. I take the L. You know what? I lost. Damn it. I just fucking lost. I can't take it no more. I'm, I'm good. I, I, but, okay, whatever you, whatever you say it is, it's all of that right there. I can't do it anymore. I can't. So it's like, but I did not come to the generalization that it was actually an L until this morning. Until this motherfucking morning. That's what tripped me out. And maybe that was the reason why a bitch was out there all up in motherfucking soil, all up under my nails and shit. I was like, maybe it was like, and it just hit me. It was like, girl, you took an L. But damn, you straight though. You straight. Because certain energies I'm not going to fuck with. I'm just not going to fuck with. I want to vibrate higher, okay? If we're not on the same elevation, I'm not fucking with you. That is just that. That's it and that's all. I'm not getting ready to go back and forth, you know, with a person that basically uh, has some form of intimidation or some narcissism going on. I'm not getting ready to go back and forth with that motherfucking shit going on right there. I'm not going to do it. And one other thing, I was talking to one of my girls couple nights ago, very, 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 I mean, beautiful young lady, okay? And it's like, if you look a certain type of way, let me just go ahead on and throw this in here, right here too, okay? You look a certain type of way, and you're pretty much respectfully in a different class of whatever, Okay? If people look at you a certain type of way, you, you got this persona, you know, you're visually, aesthetically put together. You know, people treat you a different type of way. That's the reality of it. I didn't make it up, okay? People treat you a different type of way. People's expectations of you are different. People assume a lot about you, and that is what you also attract, okay? <clears throat> so when you end up in relationships and whatnot, and if I look real good at fucking with this granola while you're bullshitting, I forgot all about this shit right here, baby. We've been ready to go ahead and get this in us. But if when you are that way, you have a tendency to meet men that are intimidated by all that. 
They don't like it. And I have to say that 70% of my relationships that I've had in my life have been laced in a little narcissism. Real shit. Laced in narcissism. I own it. I accept the part that I play in it that probably attracted that. I now realize a lot of it. And I had to do my homework about it. I had to pray on it. I had, I've lived in fear about it. I've, been, I've lived in fear about my safety and welfare about it. I've had to pretty much just now let that go. Because that no longer serves me and it has no more authority, authority over my life. I'm not going to walk around this motherfucker in fear that your motherfucking ass is going to come and do something. I'm not going to walk around this motherfucker in fear that this motherfucker right here is monitoring my every fucking move and checking my mileage and got me on tracking devices and shit. I'm sick of it. Okay? I'm sick of it. I'm done. I'm done with getting videotaped and... And motherfuckers chasing me and following me all around in my goddamn sleep. And not only in my motherfucking sleep, but in my day-to-day -day life. I'm done. Nigga, I take the L, goddammit. I take the L. Uh, fuck that. I'm sick and tired of getting told where the fuck I can go, can't do, when the fuck I got to be home, when I can't go home. I'm tired of getting locked in, locked out, kicked out, whatever. I'm sick of all that motherfucking shit. And I have endured this in my personal life. Okay, so, and it's been a time frame, okay? I'm not putting this on one particular person. There's a couple, couple, three individuals that have brought this type of bullshit into my life, yeah? And fucked with me, you know what I'm saying? Fucked with me. And so when I was talking to this young lady the other night, you know, she's a little, you know, she got her Instagram modeling thing going on. A lot of everybody know her. Very, very beautiful. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, from time to time, you know, she'll just reach out to me, you know, just for grounding. Just, you know, auntie, I just need to talk to somebody. Shit is moving real fast, you know, and I just need to just slow it down. And I just need somebody to shoot me with the real. Because, once again, when you look a certain type of way or you're in a certain type of class or you assimilate and associate with certain type of people and stuff like that, you, man, money ain't no object on a lot of things. And it, it, what things motherfuckers will do for you is just over just the moon. You know, some women take advantage of it. Women and men. I'm just not talking about uh, just women. But I'm talking about my reality and the reality of some of the girls that I know. There's nothing that um, when when you fall in that, 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 that right there, there's absolutely nothing that somebody won't do for you. You know what I'm saying? And it's a blessing and a curse. It's cool, but it can get you trumped up if you're not strong. If you understand what I'm saying. I'm 45 years old now, okay? But there was a time when I couldn't handle that. You, you understand what I'm saying? I couldn't handle that. Man, listen. It has gotten me so many beautiful things in my life. I have so many beautiful, beautiful things. Things that, you know, and then when you... Uh, meet certain people, then they want to down your shit. Oh, well, you got that because that motherfucker just wants some pussy. Oh, that motherfucker, that's a stupid motherfucker. That motherfucker dumped all that and this, this, this. Oh, man, oh, man. Ain't no telling what you had to do for that. You know, I mean, and this is the shit that I have heard for so motherfucking long. Whereas motherfuckers just don't accept the fact that, you know what? It's something about this person energy that draws these things in, draws. People gives me things. You know what I'm saying? People gives me things and, you know, it's a blessing and a curse. You know, I accept it. And I also know that favor ain't fair. But I have been, I have been um, fed to believe that apparently for you to be getting these things, you're doing something. Nigga, I've been scheduled for... Lie detector tests and shit. That motherfuckers is like, okay, well, I need to get you a lie detector test because 
You got to be lying to me. Um, motherfuckers have looked all my shit up. Do you understand me? Everything about me, okay? These motherfuckers, I'm sick of it. I'm done with this. I'm done with it. And any motherfucker come through with some video of my motherfucking ass on some unethical shit that I had no idea knowing about, motherfucker, to the full extent of the law, I'm fucking you up on my mama. May my mama rest in peace on the corner of Waterman and motherfucking Highland on top of my goddamn daddy because he went first. I swear for God, it's going to be ugly than a motherfucker. Ugly than a motherfucker. Motherfuckers is getting locked the fuck up. Because I'm telling you right now, the thing is, I have intimidated a lot of people, okay, in my personal life. Men and women. Not just men. I mean women too. Motherfuckers have like, you know, cut me loose because they see something and they be like, oh shit, nah, this motherfucker right here, they elevating to a whole different level. I, I, I ain't going to be able to reach that motherfucker at that point in time. Nah, I'm kind of cool on you. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I've had that in my life a lot of times. Family members, friends, just they, they can't handle it. The motherfuckers cannot handle it. And them motherfuckers, and, and it don't be nothing, it's nothing of value that you can say that I have done or or whatever. It's just a, a, a intimidation or something that some people just cannot deal with. So I took the L. Fuck it. I took the L because I'm not going to change up as to who God made me to be. Okay? This is what God has set forth for me to be. This is who I am. I can't put on no extra errors. I can't try to sweeten up my tongue for no motherfucking body, though I haven't been asked. But I can't do those things. I can only be me. This is this is me. And whether or not anybody like it, don't nobody want You don't have to deal with me. That is one reason why I made my shit comfortable for my motherfucking ass, for me and my goddamn kids. If it takes just the three of us to roll this motherfucking boat, nigga, it's just me, three, me plus motherfucking three, and I'm okay with that. Okay? Because there is truly no L. There was a lesson learned because I had to learn a lot about my motherfucking ass. Okay? The part that I play up in some shit. You know what I mean? And I have had a real sharp-ass motherfucking tongue on some motherfuckers. I really have. I have cut niggas all the way to their goddamn bone marrow. You understand me? I have done that. And so then, therefore, and I had to, I had to, when, when that shit, that shit is karmic, because it come right the fuck back, right back around, and then somebody gonna take a chunk out my motherfucking ass and have. But at the time, when I was just letting motherfuckers know what it was, you know, I wasn't thinking. You know what I'm saying? And especially if a motherfucker wasn't getting married. But a lot of times for me, I'll take shit, take shit, take shit, take shit, take shit. But when my motherfucking shit um, just explode or the volcano erupt, nigga ain't no filter on mine. I ain't got no, I ain't got no act right with it. It's going to be all out of compliance, nigga. I'm going to be calling you all a gang of motherfuckers and all that shit. I'm, I'm that motherfucker. I'm just hurt. I wear the shirt, I'm that motherfucker, shit is all across my motherfucking back and all kinds of shit. I'm that, okay? So, it's like, man, I had to, man, this. Uh, I took a L and I'm cool than the motherfucker. I went outside, I was like, you know what, bitch? Bitch, you actually fucking won. 